dark and uh, mysterious and very powerful. The Coven Inferno is very much inspired by Dante Alighieri's um, Divine Punishment and we created our own version of the underworld, the domain of the Duchess, the empire of the Empress, the end of the Mistress, the realm of Fang and the kingdom of the Princess. It's all a fusion of Pacific inspired fire stories, uh, vogue culture, the power, the strength, the fearlessness, the freedom of what art can be without the restraints of your social norms. Looking to the archives of dancers who went into exile with Gertrude Bordenwieser, a Viennese Jewish choreographer, in 1938. So we really wanted the audience to have that experience of themselves being on the move and to engage in these encounters with the themes of exile and displacement. What is lost when, when artists go into exile, but also what can be found by a revitalising of those archives in the present. Taha Wairua, Taha Tinana, Taha Fano, Taha Hiningaro. Hine means feminine or girl, and Ngaro means lost. In between dance, video installation, sound installation. Looking at my own anxiety, bringing it out into the light. While being burlesque, I guess the disclaimer is that you're going to get your fair share of flesh. I used Berlin Cabaret as an inspiration, and especially the gender-crossing showboy, showgirl perspective. We have such a diverse range of artists that it's really great just to get them under one roof and just see the real spectrum that we have from one end to the other.